All right, now let's just have a quick conversation about colored fish. So in general, the practice of coloring fish is completely inhumane and is completely profit driven and not in the best interest of the fish itself. But I do want to get your opinion on this particular topic and your experience keeping any of these fish. Obviously, I've already made my opinion very clear. Now, you can get tattooed fish. This is a very inhumane and immoral practice in my opinion. I'm definitely interested in yours. And this is where they actually tattoo the fish. You can also get dye injected fish where they use needles to inject dye into the actual fish. Once again, very inhumane very profit driven and not in the best interest of the fish. The other one is the dye dipped fish. Now this is something that I'm definitely after your opinion on. It definitely doesn't seem to be as bad as the injected or the tattooed, but there are absolutely lots of documented issues that surround dye injected fish. So once again, I do not in any way encourage or promote any of this sort of behavior but i am interested in your opinion have you bought these fish how long have they lasted did they keep their color because all of these options the color does fade away for a while and essentially you might be selling someone what they think is a blue fish which um after a period of time will just turn white so you're selling something to someone that they didn't necessarily want so therefore they may not look after it very well once it's no longer what they want it to be. Now the next thing is the hormone fed fish. So often if you see a fish like a cichlid, which is colored up spectacularly at a super young age, um, often all the males, all the females turn to males. Um, there's a lot of health issues and flow on health issues from feeding um, their hormone foods to the fish. And that is something I do not encourage. It sterilizes the fish and I do not encourage it. Now, the other thing is glowfish. Now, glowfish are genetically modified fish. Um, they are not available in Australia, and I do not have such a strong stand on glowfish because they're actually genetically modified, and as far as I understand, the fish can still live totally healthy, happy lives. They just get to be these disco colors. Now, there are, on the other hand, fish foods that do make your fish very colorful, but they're going to do it just by offering very high quality ingredients that encourage color. So this sort of product, like I find Danichi color, absolutely unbelievable for bringing out the best natural color in fish, but with absolutely no downside and fabulous for the fish's immune system. So if you wanna color feed your fish, I'd be suggesting you go for a food like Danichi, slow cooked, um, raw state food, Super high quality, gives you the best colors. Glowfish are not an option in Australia. Color fed fish, once again, I do not encourage. Um, dye dipped fish is something I personally have not had a huge amount of experience with, but the whole premise of dipping a fish and understanding that the fish is going to be dyed inside and out is definitely not something that I am comfortable with. Once again, I want your opinion. So if you can comment in the comment section of this video with all of your opinions on the practice and options for coloring fish. I think fish are beautiful the way they are and they don't need to be improved because if we can appreciate and love what they are, then we don't need to do any of these stupid things, but it happens. So give us your opinion.